Growing up, we always wondered how our favorite characters would look like in real life. Thanks to AI, this is now a reality. And you can do it too without spending a single dollar. Hop onto this URL, styler.ai. First things first, pricing. There is a free tier with limited trial credits. There is a standard, professional, business and a customizable team plan. All of them come with both annual and monthly options. For now, we are going to go with the free tier. Click on the login button. You can continue with Google or sign up here with your email ID. Once signed in, the interface looks like this. Click on new project. This takes you to the canvas area. There are options like text to image, image to image, generative fill, generative expand, face kit and enhance. For today's video, we shall be going with import images and go with this image. Probably 100% of the viewers have watched this anime. There are several aspect ratios you can choose from and it also gives one fit to content aspect ratio. So you don't have to fine tune the aspect ratio by yourself. The app would do the part for you. And in my opinion, this should be a default feature in all the apps. Now click on this image to image button. Select a style from this menu. I shall be choosing this realistic option and click stylize. It shows I am 11th on the queue for image generation. Well, that's to be expected with the free plan. Meanwhile, there are several options that you can use to fine tune your generation. There is this auto prompt option, which you can just click and it would write a prompt for you. If you are not satisfied with that, you can change and give your own prompt. Under the advanced button, there is an option for negative prompt. You can click on this face match button. So the AI would try to match the face with the input image. There are four results generated already. This one looks like a 3D model or 3D doll like texture. The next one is also similar. This one looks more like the 2D original image. So it hasn't changed much. And this one goes just off the rails. I think these two are closest to the input image. But here the fingers are a little bit weird. So I am gonna go with this one. Select and place on canvas. It automatically creates another layer just like Photoshop. The last image was generated without any prompt. So this time we are going to use the prompt provided by the AI itself. If you want to grow even crazier, you can play around with this structure match here. But I have seen with each usage, we lose 4 credits out of the 200 credits given to us. So that means you can generate 50 sets of images from one account. And that's the limitation. But who am I kidding? If you know, you know. But this time, this one looks quite a lot similar to the original image. Yeah, this is definitely a match. Let's go with this image. And how about we select this style next? Again, applying auto prompt. And the results are very interesting. Well, this one is a disaster. This one, yeah, okay. But this one is closest to the given image. But in my opinion, this one looks the most original. And actually, the face does not match at all. Let's see if we can get a realistic image for this character. I forgot to change the prompt that resulted in this monstrosity. But this one is pretty close. Now with the auto prompt applied, this is actually worse than the previous generations. But you can always play around. I want to use this style hyperbolic portraiture with this image now. This has given quite interesting results. The facial features in this particular one is right on point but not exactly the same image rather the earlier image was much better next i am going to try with this flower verse and see if it works on inanimate objects as well all of these options are quite beautiful and this one is pretty close to the original image this has really turned this painting like image into this 3d photograph but what if i tell you there is a tool that can do all this that too in real time this is a tool that i just learned about on last month. Go watch this video and be amazed. 